This short video focuses on several syndromes due to missing or extra pieces of DNA. We hope that parents find this helpful in understanding their child's genetic condition. As an introduction, let's think of genes, or units of DNA, like being recipes arranged in a cookbook. We get a set of 23 cookbooks, or chromosomes, from our mothers, and a set of 23 cookbooks, or chromosomes, from our fathers. A missing or extra page in our cookbook, or chromosome, is called a copy number variant. Some copy number variants may cause a medical problem. Many do not. Understanding that difference is the work of a geneticist. A geneticist is a doctor who can diagnose, give advice on what to expect, coordinate ongoing care, and help test other family members. You might be wondering how a child receives a diagnosis. Well, a small blood or saliva sample from the child is used in a chromosomal microarray analysis, or CMA, where it's organized and inventoried to detect any missing or extra pieces of DNA. Kind of like looking through the cookbooks for extra pages. So let's talk about four different syndromes that are due to small missing or extra pieces of DNA. We will discuss 22Q11 deletion syndrome, Williams syndrome, 16P11.2 deletion syndrome, and 16P11.2 duplication syndrome. A child with 22Q11 deletion syndrome may have these features. However, most children do not have all of these features. A child may have congenital heart defect, palate defect of the mouth, immune deficiency, developmental delay, and learning problems. Long-term care plans for a child with 22Q11 deletion syndrome include evaluation for nasal speech once a child begins talking, blood counts each year, frequent calcium checks in infancy and pre- and post-surgery, thyroid function tests each year, hearing tests in infancy, during preschool and during school, evaluation for scoliosis or curvature of the spine each year, and dental exams every six months. A child with Williams syndrome, which is caused by a deletion at 7Q11.23, may have a heart and blood vessel problem called supravalvular aortic stenosis or peripheral pulmonic stenosis, high calcium levels in infancy, low birth weight, difficulty with weight gain, and short stature, intellectual disability, a very friendly personality, and unique facial features. Care and management plans for a child with Williams syndrome include cardiology evaluation and care, kidney and bladder ultrasound, kidney function checks, calcium level checks, thyroid function tests, evaluation by an eye doctor, hearing tests, and regular developmental assessments. A child with 16P11.2 deletion syndrome may have developmental delay, learning disability, autism spectrum disorder, obesity, and large head size. Care and management plans for a child with 16P11.2 deletion syndrome include support development with therapy, support learning with individualized education plans, hearing tests, spine x-ray at diagnosis and each year thereafter, watch for seizures, maintain healthy diet to reduce health effects from obesity, and regular developmental assessments. A child with 16P11.2 duplication syndrome may have developmental delay, significant speech delay, autism spectrum disorder, low weight, and a small head size. Care and management plans for a child with 16P11.2 duplication syndrome include support development with therapy, support learning with individualized education plans, kidney ultrasounds, support growth with a healthy diet, and regular developmental assessments. To learn more or find support, here are some trusted websites. This video is possible thanks to funding by the Texas Department of State Health Services.